how was your initial reaction of the pregnancy? To be honest, I was a little heartbroken. I can't do this. What's good, YouTube? Today I got a special guest. Here she is, Grandma Jill, AKA Gigi. And um, today we're gonna do a Q and A. We haven't had a chance to talk about like the situation, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. So the first question for the YouTube is, so when was the first time you heard about me? First time I heard about you, she was talking how she was, oh, I was just talking to my friend Z, and I'm like, Z, who's Z? She goes, oh, this is my friend. He lives in Florida. So I was like, okay. And then she was talking about how you were coming into town. She wasn't going to hang out with you because she was seeing someone or talking to someone. And so she was not going to meet up with you. And I said, why not? If you guys are just friends, then it shouldn't be an issue because I don't see an issue with guys and girls being friends, especially when you've been talking over a year and have only been friends. And then she decided to hang out with you. And the next day, I think, is when she broke up with the other person. And then, and then I think it's been nonstop. It was not the next day. <laughs> and then I think it's been nonstop Z since. So. What was your first impression when you first seen me? When you first came in, I was like, okay, he's nice. He's a respectful young man. You seem super shy. You seem. Hi, Jet. <laughs> You seemed shy at first, and then you kind of warmed up. You, you didn't seem super comfortable, but I think as the day went on, you saw like we're just normal people, and you got super comfortable. How was your initial reaction of the pregnancy? To be honest, I was a little heartbroken. Not at, about the baby in general, just that I never wanted her to follow in my footsteps of being a young mom, unmarried, and all that, um, having a child without finishing my education, having a job lined up, just and experiencing life a little bit. She had a whole path kind of set out for her with her team, with school, and all that. But, you know, I always believe things happen for a reason and um, I'm always gonna support my kids no matter what. So, am I gonna love this grandbaby like crazy? Heck yeah, I am. I'm super excited. How was your first pregnancy? I was 19, unmarried. You know, that's not the path my mom wanted for me either. So, I initially I didn't have much support. Was that scary? It was scary. When there's not much family support, you always want them to feel that they have options as well. I'm not saying that I don't want her to be with you, but I always want her to know, like, I'm here. If something happened to you or whatever, like, she's going to be okay. Right. And I did not initially feel that way. Now, as I got later in my pregnancy and all that, my mom came to terms and became very supportive. And my mom continued to be my rock through all my pregnancies and through life, honestly. That is scary, like being young and like not knowing what's next. Yes, and then when if you feel you're trapped or on, on your own and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Right. Now, crazy. Now do you regret having kids so young? Never. No? I never will ever regret having my kids, yeah. ever. No, now if I could have waited and had my same exact kids later in life, yeah, yeah. I would say wait, yeah. but that's, I never would regret having my kids ever. Now, what's your favorite thing about being a mom? Oh my gosh. You gotta being, one. One. gosh, my favorite thing is the unconditional love. I could look hideous and whatever, and Jet will, well, especially now because he's my youngest, yeah. um, will think I'm so pretty and tell me how much he loves me. It's just the most amazing. Ever. Yeah. Uh, what's um something you wish you had more help with, like ra like raising kids wise? Uh, <laughs> um. Uh -oh. oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> that was a special request, by the way. Uh huh. Not a feeling, maybe. Um. 
just an equal partnership in raising the kids. We were young, my ex and I were young, and you know, some, a lot of men aren't ready to have kids until they're older. It was hard, you know. Um, I feel a lot of the times I did a lot of it on my own. At other times not, so I just, just support, more support in helping raise them. Not support, like the financial end, I mean like, Helping with the schoolwork, with with all that. When you first announced it, did you get like, did you lose support from people, or was it you didn't have support to begin with? Um, like friends. Yeah, like friends, family. Uh, yeah. So Hi. for some reason, you know, Hi. people thought it was gonna be contagious, and so a lot of um, parents of my friends kind of didn't want their kids around me, and it's so funny because I was the biggest nerd. Um, and no one would probably have guessed that I would be the team mom. So I liked my school and my sports and was kind of like a straight arrow, like, and did my thing and then I was pregnant, boom. And so, yeah, I lost, you know, connection with a lot of people and that's also because your priorities change. Like everybody still wants to go out and party, but guess what, like, I'm not going out and partying. I'm a mom, I'm staying in, I'm not going out. Like she's gonna come first, and a lot of people didn't like that. So knowing how everything turned out, what advice would you give your younger pregnant self? Don't sweat the small stuff. Enjoy everything. Don't worry about having the house always clean. Mm -hmm. Obviously keep it tidy enough and all that, but like make it family time. Enjoy the time, do that stuff when the baby's asleep because I'm telling you, it goes so fast. Yeah. I mean, obviously, 20 year old and Jet's gonna be four in two days, so. Now, is that just for you or just for like any new parents in general? Oh, every new parent, any new parent, because, you know, it seems so hard and the crying, like, luckily for me, my kids didn't have, weren't colicky and all that, um, but Jazz, for instance, did not like to sleep. She wasn't called because he didn't cry, but she just would not go to bed. Yeah. So I would have to put her in the car and go drive down to say de Valencia um, because it was a bumpy road mm -hmm. and that would lull her to sleep. Those days only last so long. It seems like it's, you're so exhausted and you're like, please go to bed, but it's all just, it just, in a blink of an eye, that stage is over and then they're crawling and then they're yeah. walking and then they're, you know, they want to spend time with you and then they're teenagers and they have their own lives and they're, they really want to do their own thing and then, you know, and then they go off to school and right. you see them at holidays and... What do you say is the hardest part about being a mom? The hardest part about me being a mom is letting go. Especially when they go to college, you know, you're not there. They have to be able to make these decisions and you know, you always want to build a relationship with your kids that if they do get into a, a tough spot that they right. could come talk to you instead of like they don't feel that they have anyone they could come talk to about things. Like I've always had an open door policy with my kids where if you do something even though you know I'm not going to like it, you come and talk to me first. The punishment's going to be way less than right. if I find out from somebody else right. because I always found out. My kids would always come and just fess up first and... Like when I crash and I talk about them? Yes, <laughs> like then. Open lines of communication are good with the kids. Do you always want to have kids or is that like something that just happens? Always. Yeah. I wanted a big family. I love, love, love the idea of a big family. Um, it's just me and my brother. That's it, you know, and growing up uh, we had some really close family friends and there was four kids, two boys, two girls. Right. And I always wanted two boys, two girls. I always wanted a big family because then I also want lots of grandbabies someday too from all my kids. Maybe not so soon, but um, considering I just turned 40, but um, you know, I, I love children. You think you're gonna stop at four? <laughs> Am I stopping at four? It depends. Yeah. Yeah, that, that all depends. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna say yes and I'm not gonna say no. There's, you just never know. Okay, I respect that. Learned a lot. I appreciate you a lot. And um, that's the video, you know. Everyone stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.